What's up, guys? It's your favorite pirate, Pac. And if you're like me, you've enjoyed living in the true beginnings of the metaverse the last two weeks. And if you watched my video series covering the Star Atlas Town Hall, you already knew that this change in the R4 economy was coming. And if you happen to miss that video, you should definitely hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop on everything that is Star Atlas. The Star Atlas team has begun transition from a passive economy driven by staking assets to a more dynamic, realistic, and functional economy that will involve real gameplay. That golden era that we've all been waiting for. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what the team has done to help players make this transition smoothly and how you can avoid the price gougers in the marketplace as much as possible while still maintaining your faction fleet. Oh, and I've got a major giveaway to thank the community for the amazing support as we passed 100 subscribers. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for that. And I also just launched a few products through Gallia's Merchants to help support the channel. So fuel yourself up with this awesome mug or support decentralization with this awesome shirt. Probably the best way to support the channel. Wednesday I had just gotten off work when my portable data transmitter went off and I was alerted to the news. I knew the transition was in the works, but like everything else this year, the team moved really quickly. They announced the end of the DAO offering R4s to supply our fleets and left a month's worth of R4s in the marketplace based on the data from what they had collected in SCORE. Unfortunately, within a free market, there will always be greed, and hours after the announcement, a small number of wallets bought all of the R4s available and instantly listed them at a drastically higher rate. But the team probably saw this coming because they took preemptive actions that still allow us to get our resources and avoid these drastic prices. The Star Atlas team reinstated claim stake purchases with Atlas and even gave them a 20% discount. These claim stakes can be added to the faction claim system and provide you with some R4 to help curb any shortage you might see. But the team went further and also drastically increased the claim stakes output of R4s for the foreseeable future, at least until mining and crafting come online and probably a little after that. The output of resources was increased by a minimum of five and a half times the old output and nine times for certain claim stakes and resources. And because the Star Atlas team actually does care about the little guy, guys like me that can't afford huge claim stakes, they even drastically boosted the R4 loot drops that can be found in Escape Velocity. The team made R4s as cheap as a few Solana transactions. I mean it, they really want everybody to succeed in the metaverse, not just those galactic whales. The team is also monitoring the situation and preparing for scenarios where other economical levers might need to be pulled, but they are definitely active and vigilant. What can you do to help your fleet survive and score until they eventually get pulled and used for more interactive gameplay in the mining and crafting section? And yes, that is coming. For the foreseeable future, we have two decent options. We can obtain a claim stake and not only benefit from its production, but also use it in later gameplay. And remember, it's your asset and it still retains some value. I'm not sure if I would buy the mining drills and the power plants to go with these claim stakes. According to the gameplay manual, these assets are one-time use. And when we pick up our claim stakes, those structures break down into the resources used to make them. Or we can do my favorite option, the really cheap option. We can grind it out in escape velocity where the loot drops are plenty and the resources given are high. Yes, this is a more time-consuming method, but personally, I find it better than giving my atlas to the corporate pirates who want to use the R4 market supply to 10x their atlas while devaluing yours. We also have some guilds out there who see the struggle and want to help, including Dark Matter and the newly found Guardians of the Galaxy are working to help us shrimps, sharks, and swordfish succeed in a world of whales. The easiest way to stay up to date on these missions is to spend a little time every day over in the Star Atlas Discord. The community is all about lifting up others. The Guardians of the Galaxy and Dark Matter have come together to be the first multi-guild integrated community within Star Atlas and open the doors for inclusivity within the Ooster faction. And for reaching out a hand and helping this pirate up to chase his dreams, I had to do something big, so I'm gonna donate one claim stake to Atlas Grace. 
an amazing charity, and I'm going to give one away. The only thing you have to do to enter is ask me a question in the comments, be subscribed to the channel, and share this video on Twitter. But I'll even make this giveaway a little more uplifting. Dark Matter and the Guardians of the Galaxy see the pain the increased market prices have had on fleets helping to defend Gaia. So we partnered together to give away 280,000 of every type of R4. That's 1,120,000 resources to help boost your fleets. I'll give away 10,000 R4s per winner until the prize pool is drained. So guys, welcome to a metaverse protected by true pirates and watched over by the ever-vigilant guardians. This is a new era within Star Atlas, and we're excited to see the future unfolding before us. And if you like today's video and want to help support future content, send any contributions to pockthepirate.soul or get yourself a cool t-shirt or racing mug over at Gallia Merchants. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay safe out there. Pock out.